So, uh, Dr. Mahara, it's fantastic uh, being able to do this interview with you. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, you were at RadFest last year. Uh, what did you like most about it? Well, I, I think that the, 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 the word that comes to mind immediately is innovation. Yeah. And it's the versatility of the, the, the speakers in terms of their scientific knowledge, the, this, the full spectrum of areas that everyone was focused on actually solving the problem yes, of aging. I agree. And in particular, looking at, you know, looking at it in multiple ways, because I think the issue is that there may be one way that might be better than another, but I think ultimately it's going to take multiple different strategies, um, all in a concerted way to be able to solve this problem. I think you're totally right. Yes, well said. Thank you. Can you give us just a brief uh, summary of the exciting new information that you'll be bringing to Radfest this year? Yes, I, I think that I, last year I talked about the my you know one of the main uh, areas of focus was about using young blood mm -hmm. for um, for uh, <clears throat> to be able to reverse the effects of aging, which was basically one of the characteristics of aging is the uh, immune senescence or aging of the immune system. The immune system. So my goal this year is to give an update uh, from that talk as to where we, have, you know, where we are as far as um, being able to uh, to do that study and be able to get patients in, into that study. Yeah, what I've heard is you've, you've made some pretty good strides in that direction. Is that true? Yes, that's correct. Beautiful. I mean, well. Yeah, well, I'm very excited to hear the uh, new information you're bringing. I'm sure everybody uh, will be that's listening to this. Uh, what is your single most important reason uh, for you personally to want to end aging and death? I think I want to make it. I think the goal is to make a difference because the if, if we look at the current paradigm and let's take let's use one of the diseases of aging, Alzheimer's disease. You know, in Florida, as an example, there are 750,000 people. Who currently have Alzheimer's disease? Wow! And wow. and there is no, there is currently no treatment for it. So therefore, if we look at all the other, if you now add in all the other diseases of aging, chronic diseases of aging, if we don't address the diseases from the perspective of what's the root cause, but we treat symptoms, we're never going to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. I and see. and I think that we have a. We have a, a tremendous problem that's but that's looming ahead, a crisis really, because by the year 2050, the number of people over the age of 65 will be two billion people. Oh my gosh! Exactly. Well, thank you for all the great work you're doing. Uh, I, I personally really appreciate it. I know everybody does. Why do you think it's important uh, yourself? What, what, in your opinion, for people to attend Radfest? I, I think, <clears throat> I mean, I enjoyed it. Just not not just being a presenter but just listening to everyone, hearing all the innovations that are taking place in many different, from different countries. And I think it's a very exciting opportunity for people to just go and listen and hear all the things that are happening from, you know, directly from the scientists and from the researchers and from the, you know, the speakers. So I, I think that um, they will enjoy it. Well, I saw you. You look like you're having quite a bit of fun. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank so, you. so the last question is, uh, how important is it, do you think, as a, you know, you're also a great thought leader, that uh, it's important to have a united community moving together to end aging and death? How important do you think that is? The, the goal is basically to have, uh, to have as much talent as possible looking at this. Exactly. Uh, we're looking at this as as closely as possible. So if we if we don't do that, we're not going to make the advances that we we need to do. Very well said. Yeah, get get a melting pot, get a collaboration going. That we we get a lot of uh, intelligence and uh, people who are really in this same line of thought involved, so we can move it forward faster. Yes, I mean, yeah. I think that uh, there has to be a spirit of cooperation yes. uh, to be able to make, uh, you know, to make uh, changes and advances like this. And this is a huge one. So if you have individuals working in individual institutions or labs and they're not communicating, the progress is going to be slow. That's right. where, you have, where you have everyone actually sharing ideas, uh, learning from each other and developing things together. 
uh, in a spirit of cooperation, the progress is going to be, you know, it's going to be exponential. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you again for doing this interview, and uh, I'm excited to see you at RadFest again this year. Uh, is there anything else that uh, maybe uh, I didn't ask you or you'd like to say to conclude to this interview? No, I, I think uh, I think you've asked the, the you know the pertinent questions. I think the okay. only thing I would add is just really to encourage people to come to Radfest and to because they'll find it very enjoyable. And I'm I'm looking forward to being there again and presenting. Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you. We'll see you soon.